This is your DNA Info update for Tuesday, January 26th. Colder today, getting to the mid-40s with the clouds breaking up. Taking a look at your headlines, elected officials are raising questions today about a reported proposal that could shut down St. Vincent's Hospital for good. According to the New York Post, a new plan could shutter the financially struggling facility, potentially leaving the lower west side of Manhattan without a full-service hospital. A stop work order and two violations halted construction at the Beekman Tower in Lower Manhattan after debris came flying from the site in yesterday's high winds. The falling debris led to street closures and forced Pace University to cancel classes. Residents of Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village don't seem surprised by news that the owners of the massive complex will transfer the property to creditors. But a day after the announcement, it's already clear finding a solution that will work for everyone, the residents, the city, and the owners won't be easy. Get more on that, including resident reactions, here on our site. And Vampire Weekend may be white hot in the music world, but even a famous rock band sometimes has trouble finding hometown love. DNA Info discovered the band is getting a little airtime in the Morningside Heights bars that surround Columbia University, the group's alma mater. Check out what people are saying right here. Those are your headlines. Get all your Manhattan local news at DNAinfo.com.